Hong Kong's Beijing-backed number two official, Henry Tang, has stepped down from his post as chief secretary to pave the way for a widely expected bid to become the financial hub's next chief executive. Although Tang didn't confirm he would definitely run for the top job, he said he is seriously thinking about it. Hong Kong's number two official, Henry Tang, stepped down from his post as chief secretary on Wednesday. Backed by Beijing, it's a move to pave the way to possibly become Hong Kong's next chief executive. Tang said he tendered his resignation, which still requires approval from Beijing. And while he didn't confirm that he will definitely run for the city's highest office, politicians and analysts are pretty sure that he will. This morning, I tendered my resi resignation to the chief executive. I will proceed on leave from today until I receive approval from the Central People's Government. He told reporters he was considering running for Hong Kong's next chief executive. Recently, many people have encouraged me to run for the next chief executive. I know deep in my heart that this would be a great challenge for me. I need time and space to seriously think about this suggestion. The 59-year-old Tang is seen as the front-runner for the top job, having been groomed by senior Chinese officials to take over the reins of the former British colony from Donald Tsang. Tang is considered one of Hong Kong's political elite. His father had close ties to former Communist Party leader Jiang Zemin. Tang was reportedly singled out by Jiang at an early age and was fast-tracked into the higher levels of government in 2002. The people of Hong Kong have no direct say in their next leader, who will be chosen next March by an election committee stacked with Beijing loyalists. Dismissed by critics as a mediocre administrator, analysts say Tang still represents Beijing's best option for now. During an August visit by China's vice premier, Li Keqiang, a heavy security clampdown sparked claims of civil rights violations that Tang dismissed as complete rubbish. It sparked a bitter public and media backlash while reinforcing perceptions he would be a yes-man for the Chinese regime.